Hey there beautiful teachers. In this video I just want to give you three quick and easy tips to improve your group lessons to make them more manageable. So what we're talking about here are those little niggles that get in the way in group lessons where your students just don't respond to you quick enough, they can get a bit out of control perhaps, and they don't mean to be bold or to go against you, but they don't have those cues that they need to pay attention and to know when we're moving from one activity to the next. So these three simple ways of improving your group lessons are things that I've picked up, created for myself over the years of running my group with preschoolers and they'll work for students of any age. The first one is to give them a simple cue for stopping playing. If you're going to have everyone play at the same time, great, wonderful, but you need to have a way that they know when to stop. So we practice this away from the piano. I use a simple tambourine, that's all I need. A shake of the tambourine means hands in lap. It's really as simple as that. But we practice it first away from the piano. Remember, I'm talking about preschoolers, so it takes a lot of practice. We're sitting in a circle and we pretend to be playing the piano and they, they hear the tambourine shake. They have to immediately put their hands back in their lap as quickly as possible. It's really as simple as that. If they practice it enough times and if you make it into a game where they have to do it as quickly as they can, then they will absolutely do it when you get to the piano and you can practice that a lot of times as well. And often they'll... If they do continue and they don't notice the tambourine, they'll be looking around, realize what they've done. <gasps> they'll jump back into their lap. So that's my first simple trick is to use a tambourine to get them to put their hands in their lap and stop playing whenever you need them to. The next one is a song. It's called Everybody Got Sit Down and it goes, everybody sit down, sit down, sit down down everybody sit down on the floor not on the ceiling not on the door not on each other but on the floor i teach this to my preschool students and i teach them the full song and we sing it a few times and then after that all i need to sing is the everybody and they already are sitting down. But I might get to a few words beyond that if they're particularly engrossed in an activity. This is the cue I use to get them away from the piano or whatever they were doing before and into sitting in a circle on the floor as we are for a lot of activities. The third tool is taking turns when playing or yo-yoing. So this is very simple, obviously, but before you ever get students to play the same melody in unison or the anything, at the same time, you get each of them to try it. And with longer pieces, my simple adjustment for you, and this is more something I use for older students, although certainly sometimes for preschoolers as well, is to get them to yo-yo. This is where I get both students sitting at the piano or multiple students sitting at multiple pianos. And I simply have them play one or two bars each and go back and forth. So they're supposed to sound seamlessly like one player which requires a lot of paying attention to what the other one is playing and where they are in the music so that they can join in at the right time. Over time, they get pretty good at this, but even when they're not getting it smoothly and it's not sounding like anything, it's still a great opportunity for them to get practice with it independently before we play it at the same time and to get practice with listening to each other. It's a great way to work on that skill. So those are my three tips. Tambourine, to make everyone take their hands back into their lap. Then you've got the song, Everybody Sit Down, to get everyone to sit in a circle whenever you need it. And then we've got the option of taking turns or yo-yoing. If you have those three tools, things actually stay pretty organized, especially those first two. If you just teach those tricks, those two tricks to your groups of students, you can absolutely get them to sit down, pay attention, stop playing when you need them to. So I hope you'll try those tricks out. Um, in your own studio during the week. Now, if you need a curriculum for group teaching, if you don't know where you're at and you like the idea of starting with preschoolers, I want to encourage you to check out our curriculum called Mini Musicians Inside Vibrant Music Teaching. You can go to vibrantmusicteaching.com slash mini to learn all about that two-year curriculum that you can use with preschool students. It has absolutely everything you need in it. So it's not something where you have to buy a bunch of stuff and you don't have any licensing fees to pay, just the membership fee. It's not expensive and that's all you need. Everything is there ready for you to print and get going with your preschooler groups. I hope you'll check it out.